Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy living in London back again. Come on, no rest for the fucking wicked out here, I tell you people. So we've got more gossip. I come off the phone, I mean I come off the live and I put it on Do Not Disturb just so when I'm live people can't ring me and all the other stuff, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, I get a phone call. I had a few phone calls, like loads, missed calls, missed calls. I'm like, what's going on here? All the people that missed called me were in prison. Not one of them on road. So I'm like, why the fuck are all these fellas calling me? Anyway, yeah, so I bring them, I bring them, I'm like, what's going on? They're like, bruv, your pals here. I'm like, who? Yeah, they're like, Marvin, one eye. I'm like, no way, Herbert, yeah? They're like, yeah, mate. I'm like, for what? What happened? They're like, he was in court. I'm not going to say what he's in court for. I'll let him tell you when he gets out. He most probably don't want me to tell you this. I'm sorry, I'm a gossip. I came back on YouTube, you went jail. Fuck, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no, it's too juicy. This is why I stopped doing all this all the time as well. Because there's always something to cover. There's always something going on. I was vibing. Anyway, we're here now, so let's do it. So yeah, he's in court. And the judge, I don't know, he don't like the judge for some reason. He's like, to the judge, um... Fuck off, you nonce. Judge is like, what? Remand. <laughs> and they remanded him because they called the judge a nonce. I'm like, wait, what? Are you serious? He thought this was YouTube beef. Mom, you can do this on YouTube. Call whoever you want a nonce. It don't matter. Sometimes it even sticks. By the end of the day, bruv, when you're calling judges nonces, they ain't going to have that. They're not taking that kindly, you know? So Marv, how the fuck did you end up in the Ville? And this is what I'm saying, people. First of all, this ain't a diss to Marv. Marv's my guy. He even rung me just to check up on me because I ain't been posting on socials. But this is just a gossip, you know? And it's just a warning and it's just one of my biggest fears. See people with higher, like, short tempers. We can change our lives and all the other stuff, but you still got that temperament inside you. Yes, you can control it. You see how Marv talks. You see all the other stuff. The last place Marv wanted to be was in prison. But you got to keep your anger and yourself in check. Because Marv said that if he could see what the result would have been, he would never have said that. But that's not the luxury you get in life, people. You have to think ahead. Think ahead. And if you're in court and the judge is pissing you off, you just got to accept it. The judge is there, you're in court for whatever you're in court for. It's a fucked up situation, but do not make it worse by abusing the person that is in control of your freedom in that very moment. You know, you know, you know what? You know what? He's pissing me off, you fucking grass. All judges are going to piss you off. That's what they do. They're there to judge. And if you've done something wrong or the judgment ain't going your way, bite your lip. Or you're going to end up in jail, like old Marvin Herbert. That's a liberty. Imagine that. So go back uh, about a year and a half. We got Marvin Herbert and we got Liam Ditchie on a podcast <laughs> talking about uh, staying away from crime, doing all this other shit. Ditchie's gone back to the roads robbing people and Marv's in jail. Listen, Ditchie's a scumbag and wrong one. Marv just couldn't control his tongue and he said something. But to be fair, to be fair, the judge was a bit of a fucking... I'm not even going to say anything. The judge was fine and totally cool, yeah? But at the same time, the judge could have let Marv off. The geezer's changed his whole life. You're gonna send him back because he called you a nonce. To me, that's crazy, that is crazy. But that's the power these judges have. That's the power you give these people when you commit crime or you do something stupid. I'm not gonna tell you what Marv was in court for, like I said, I'll let him tell you. But it's a mad one, people, it's a mad one. And is he going to get longer in jail? And what kind of... What does that do to his message now? Like, the judge has fucked up his message a bit. Because, like, they just sent him to prison. Miles going to be like, listen, don't go to fucking commit crime because you end up in prison. Now he's there himself. So the judge kind of fucked his message up by sending him to jail. Like, that was a bit sensitive from the judge. He could have been a bit more partial in the whole thing. and been like, okay. You, you know, like... See, I'm out of to shut up. See if you're um, a judge and you've got to take everything into consideration. You can't just be like, ah, oh, he, he abused me. Like, you're going to get that a lot. You're in that profession, you know? But at the same time, it's no excuse. Marv, you're an old G, yeah? You're meant to know better. But when you get out, 
I'm sure we're hello more. Anyway, people, it's your boy living in London. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out my live if you ain't already seen it. Just go onto my page. There's videos, community, all the other stuff. Just go to lives and it's there. Peace, I'll see you tomorrow.